Hello and welcome to another video featuring the iBook G3. Now, in this video we are going to be demonstrating some software that I have found quite useful actually. So, the software is Lynx 2, which is a port of Lynx 2 for, um, uh, for Mac OS. PowerPC Mac OS to be exact. And so, uh, you can run it through a double-clickable application, and then you have the option of text mode or graphics mode, where graphics mode requires X11. So we'll just start up in graphics mode for now. And so... I have... Of um now start up links to in graphics mode, so then you can hit G to go somewhere, or actually paying escape will bring up the menus, which will essentially result in the same thing, and I'll just go to my website. Here we go. Here's my website. And I can navigate around it as though it were, you know, as though I were using a normal text, a normal web browser, which Lynx is a text based web browser, but also um, this has the ability to use X11. So, yeah. And. So yeah, this um this web browser works really nicely and you can uh just hit Q to exit. Yes. And there's also text mode which um if you bring up terminal which this opened with the um with links, but um then I can type links W and it will bring up links in text mode. So yeah, that's um that's links for PowerPC Mac OS ten. Um and the command for bringing up X eleven links is links XW. So there is one more thing that I can show you, and this is actually really cool. Um, given that Lynx is a text-based web browser, if I boot into OS 9, then I can SSH into uh, another PowerPC Mac running Mac OS 10, and then I'll have a fully up-to-date text-based web browser available in OS 9. So, um... Once this boots up, which after the SSD upgrade should be pretty speedy, um, I can look at um, Mac SSH and give a few tips for how to get that working well, because there is a specific setting you'll need to change that is enabled by default. So now we can go into Mac SSH. And I'm going to be connecting to Kisa Mac, but let me show you one setting first. Let's see. 
under SSH2, you need to set the compression to none. Because, um, it doesn't like it when you... When you have compression enabled, it will, um, fail to connect. So then, um, I'll enter my, P my password, and I will be right back. So I'm not sure how well you can see that exactly, but I can, um, uh, now execute commands from my iBook on my Mac Mini. So, I'll just type links W, and I can now I can now go to my site, and let's see if I can make this any bigger. Yep. So, let me just zoom out. And there you go. And a fun extra little thing that I can do is, um, Zoom out completely, and position my camera pointing at my Mac Mini, and type in links XW, the um, uh, links will then show up on my Mac Mini, and then I can just put out that using that, using just control C on my iBook. And yeah, that is um that's basically all I want to show you today, just a brief look at this really cool piece of software. Um links to download it will be in the description. Um Hope you have a good day and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.